Hey guys, I'm back. Oh, no. Hey guys, I'm back. We just wanted to give you an update. I'm gonna um, let Ryan kind of show you as far as some of the challenges we've been having in the garden. Um, and uh, we spent quite a bit of time on that garden. And we actually, so we both work full time. Um, and then we kind of do this um, in our free time, uh, if that's what you call it. It is a lot of work. Um, I actually enjoy um, kind of just being outside and, and doing, you know, just odds and ends. But what I don't enjoy is putting in all of the effort and then coming back the next day and seeing <laughs> what we're seeing in it. So. And um, I know Ryan will show you here in just a few minutes, but um, you can you can understand once you look at it to see what we're talking about. So maybe if you guys have some ideas or whatnot, we'll take them. That's shades. She looks like she's literally wearing shades. Hey guys, uh. I know Jamie has explained to you guys what we got going on here. Uh, we have some severe weed pressure. Um, so let's talk about this weed pressure that I have. Sorry, talk, weed pressure. Let's talk about the weed pressure I have. I want, first, I want to take you guys over here to this plot we've been working on, trying to get this weed pressure under control. And then I'm going to show you what I call the lost cause. Um, when we first, excuse me, I almost fell. <laughs> This is why you gotta make sure you clean up your garden area. <laughs> we first came out here, we tried to be very proactive on the weed pressure. Uh, the first thing we did was we torched the whole thing and we'll drop some footage in there. Then from there, uh, we had someone come in and they tilled the garden and we covered it for about three months. After we uncovered it, we torched it again um, to get any potential seeds that was um, maybe lingering from on the top from that tillage um, well that didn't work and I was scratching my head trying to figure out what did I do wrong how did I go wrong so I actually took some time and I talked to my neighbor who lives about a half a mile down the street he uh, farms about 1200 acres he's been doing it for his entire life well he explained to me uh, this property here for actually a original property was about 128 acres and it was a cattle farm and the old timers used to bring in seed grass different various types of grass seeds from clovers to your rye to your uh your timothy different seeds three ways i should say i can rectify this uh the first one is going to be chemicals which is definitely out of question for us uh then we got some different tools and manual labor that we can put in and then the third one is torching i guess but let's go over here real quick i just want to show you guys this um i've been trying to work very hard to clean this up um we have the transplants over here on this side as you can see um and still the weed is starting to choke them out we cleared all this out i left this patch here just so we can show you guys what it looked like um i cleared all this out at the beginning of the weekend as you see we're starting to get more seeds uh weed growing here and I'm not I'm gonna leave this because the transplants are tend to do doing a better job because they had a head start on the weeds but we're gonna keep uh, using our our uh, stirrup hole and uh, mainly pulling these until uh, end of season then we're gonna uh, we're gonna cover this with some uh, cover crop and then we'll torch it again and hopefully next year because we won't have to till uh, we won't have this problem uh, but let's go over to the lost cause did you say lost cause? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's no way to explain it. We put a lot of work into this. Yeah, I don't know if you guys, you guys um, noticed, but we put a lot of work in this, in this uh, to get it to this point. Without and the grass. Without the grass. There was nothing here before. Without uh, the grass. But if, let's go over here. So if you look here. We put a lot of, I uh, invested a lot of money in different various seeds, uh, leaf seeds. You can see there's some, some lettuce here gro growing, uh, but it is not beating the weeds. Uh, so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna torch this entire bed. Um, all of them, every, every row is gonna get torched. 
and we're going to bring in our poly we ordered some poly cover and we're gonna put some poly cover over it and we're gonna grow our leafy greens that way um, that happened to our onions as well it's happening right now to our herbs in our greenhouse and what we did um, we have two herb tunnels we have our regular herbs from our Italian uh, our, our Italian parsley and as well as our uh, sweet basil um, in this one and then this is called our chipling uh, tunnel as you can see it doesn't have a bit on but we end up bringing some soil in for that we covered up, uh, it with uh, some cardboard and brought in topsoil um, and that seems to be helping a little bit with that but I do see some weed germination from the soil itself that we brought in uh, so let's go check out the poly cover the poly cover that I got here I got this off of Amazon uh, right now it's on sale so if you're looking for poly cover we'll drop a link below uh, or if you guys have any different suggestions uh, this is a 4x300 so 1200 square feet I want to say and we got this for less than 70 bucks um, I bought two of them so I got two for like a less than $150 uh, these right here are what we're going to use to cover each row and then we'll uh, burn sear in the, the openings for each seed and we'll replant our seeds um, so with that being said we're going to be using this as one of the main tools we're going to burn everything and then we're going to uh, get everything planted I think once we burn these weeds back uh, that is going to uh, really give us a fighting chance to have a successful season especially with our leafy greens uh, this right here this bed has been covered for three weeks we want to get this into production uh, this bed right here uh, I don't know if I, we told you guys but we purchased uh, one of uh, we purchased a 50 by 50 by 100 uh, silage tarp um, and with the intent of buying another one uh, the, when we initially purchased a 50 by 100 it was uh, $250 now that is about 750 to a thousand dollars for one of those silage tarts so we did purchase two uh, 24 by 100 which at the time were $250 which was a great deal but now those suckers are about 500 bucks a piece from what I'm seeing so we did not cover this portion of the bed because that tarp was just too expensive to buy another one so we did a rotational deal this one has been covered for about three to four weeks now I'm just gonna pull back this corner just to see where we're at the weeds have died off and you can see how big those weeds were look at that so we can come in here we can torch these guys they're pretty much dead but we can torch them get them out get them out of here and we can uh, get this bled in rotation uh, this is gonna be more uh, leafy greens so we're gonna use the poly cover and get those get this in production so we can um, have a lot a lot better season that we're anticipating now that's a hope that's the hope cross your fingers that's what I have guys um, so if you have any suggestions drops uh, please drop them below um, we're gonna get this burn real quick so we can um, get those covers on there